Sally kiln washing. Yeah. It's like painting. I'm getting used to it. And out here, the we've got of the kiln looks really good now. Inks. Out here we have the stuff getting sorted. So we sort by size of bricks. So that when we go to load, things will all go in quickly, hopefully. And then some of the new stuff we've done to the outside. We've put kiln shelves, keeping in a layer of fiber held on by steel so that everything's kind of replaceable and then in the back we have stuccoed the kiln so the last firing or two the brick has been spreading out so we actually put an angle iron base underneath this and then on top of it we've put a insulating castable kind of refractory stuff and then a coating of more Cementish stuff to hopefully protect it some from the weather because we've got no roof. Oh, oh. So, so. He's got quarter brick shelf These? packed with little shot glasses. Lots of little shot glasses. Are they? Yeah. All right. They are not good. They put on a hell of a show though. How many times have you seen them? I've been using these little biscuits, so they're like potato chips. They're covered in kiln wash, and then they get put down, and the cups go on top. And hopefully, they will be reusable. And this bowl right here. That bowl? This little one right that here. little bowl. Oh, he's fixing that, the bowl. That needs some work right there. Oh, is it fix. straight now? Uh, oh, oh, that, oh, that, oh. just a little better. bit. Just, no, just a little bit more. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. good job. That's better. So you can kind of see we have the bottom part stacked very tight. Everything's really close, close to the top. And as we move above, things get a little looser until we get to a shelf like this where things are very loose so that the air can go over the top and then down through the chimney. If we stack this part too tight, everything gets forced through the bottom and it becomes too uneven and the stuff at the top does not get warm enough to use. And at the bottom here, we have what we call the secret chamber. So we have a, a wall that's built so only a certain amount of air can get through. And then on the other side is an area that gets a high amount of reduction a lot of fine ash and a really hot temperature so this is like the sweet spot and we try to get everybody a couple pieces in this area <laughs> so this is the second um what do we call it stack of work what do we call it shut up A tall layer at the bottom where we hope to get a lot of crunchy stuff. We have the secret chamber in the very bottom, which is kind of shielded. We'll have lots of reduction. Above that, another kind of tall shelf and a plate shelf. And then another tight shelf. And then we try to get it kind of loose so that the flame can go over the top and into the back stack. We have our new grate. We made it out of steel. Hopefully, it'll last. We made it so we can flip it over each firing. And then we're building the base for our second stack, or third stack. And then we have our wood. Goes back there. And then underneath the tarps here, we've got the same deal. We got about, we've been measuring it in pallets. We have about 20 pallets of wood now. It should be good for firing. <laughs>